Jürgen Habermas is an important representative of Frankfurt School, not only in politics, but his works are also important for the fields of sociology and philosophy. Let's take a closer look to his life and his work. He was born in Germany in 1929. The country was ruled with Nazi regime as he grew up. And as a teenager, he witnessed the Second World War. These conditions affected his later political views and studies. At his novice years, he was the student of important philosophers of Frankfurt School. Theodor Adorno and Max Horkheimer. Later, he became the prior representative of second generation philosophers of Frankfurt School. Frankfurt School was the emerging place of critical theory. In its simplest form, critical theory aims to raise awareness about exploration of capitalist system to encourage people to demand for liberty and so that to purify the society from oppression. Habermas evaluated the critical theory and he established the theory of communicative action. Theory of communicative action points out to the importance of rational communication and social interaction in the critical theory. Getting influenced by the works of Wittgenstein, Habermas emphasizes the importance of language for communication. Furthermore, in his critics of modern democracies, he states the absence of a rational communication as a major problem. This problem occurs because capitalist authorities place more importance on power and benefits instead of mutual understanding. He put great emphasis on the concept public sphere. Public sphere can be defined as the domain of social life, where people can argue and shape their political views. To understand the term better, you can imagine a local coffee in your neighborhood. You can go there, drink a coffee with your friend. Assume that you are sharing your political thoughts with each other. While you are talking with your friend, other people in the coffee get interested and they join your conversation too. As a group, you are debating and there is no authority figure that restricts you, so you can freely say anything you want. More or less, it, that is what a public sphere looks like. Habermas made countless contributions to politics. He published many books and articles. I mentioned some highlights about his life and studies in the video. I hope you enjoyed it.